How do YouTube? I thought we'd do a video on a program called Finch. Finch is the little brother of a program called Pigeon. And Pigeon and Finch are instant messaging clients that can connect via a variety of protocols to your favorite messaging service such as MSN or Gmail. Now, what we're going to do is start up Finch through the command line. Now the reason why I say it's a little brother is because it's quite obvious that it's a command line application and in true typical form it comes up with an Incursus interface. What we're going to do is have a look and see how we would install an account first. Okay guys, so we'll just close that and we'll open up the accounts area. We open up the accounts area by pressing Alt A, which can otherwise, you can also press Escape A. On some systems, Alt A is not recognized, so you can press Escape for Alt instead. Now what we do is we go to accounts, and you can see that I've already got a couple set up here. So for an example of a MSN account, we can just have a look here and see, we set up MSN, put our uh, email account in. I use a Gmail account for my MSN as well. I use actually a Gmail domain for my MSN account. And this is pretty obvious. Uh, some of these things are pretty obvious that they come up with. Others less um, and a little bit obscure, such as the port number. You don't need to put that in. It'll do that for you. Uh, likewise for our Gmail account, we can just go and do that. And all I'm doing is tabbing through, by the way. When I come to a menu item, I just press the down button and then that's how that, that menu item comes up. Okay, pretty obvious. Just go, and we can press Alt-C to get out of any particular menu. I'm just going to send a nudge to my friend Caddy, who happens to be um, the guy who does Linux for you and me. Okay, and I'm just going to press the nudge. And that's just forward slash nudge. You can see that what it does is it just sends a nudge like you normally would through MSN or, or, or Google. Uh, chat. I think it's called Google Chat anyway. Um, so we've got that menu here. We've also got a context menu which allows us to do a couple of things. The context menu is brought up by pressing the F10 button. In F10 we can see there are a number of things that we can do. I mainly use such things as the send file and the get info. Um, so if I wanted to press send file I'd actually grab the file and just send it to him. Okay and I can just roam around by like go up upper directory or yep upper directory to the root directory and I'm just going to press Alt C and get rid of that window too. We can increase the size of a window, we can move a window around. How to move a window around is by pressing the Alt M and likewise logically Alt R is how to resize and we just use the arrow keys to move or resize. Okay, so that pretty much has been a short tutorial on how to use this program. There are another a number of other features that you might be interested in using. For example, the available looking at invisible away. I'm pretty sure you've used these in other clients as well. Basically, this program will enable you to have the same abilities as you would in X using a typical uh, client. Instead, this will enable you to do it in the command line. The reason why I emphasize command line apps is you won't always have X. For example, Caddy9 in 80, he was once without X because his NVIDIA driver conflicted with the version of XORG that he had installed on his system. You will find that you can install Finch in Ubuntu as a separate application or in other distributions such as Gentoo. It, is, it comes as a part of the Pigeon uh, suite or the Pigeon application. Either way, uh, you can enjoy the use of uh, Finch simply by typing Finch at the command line once you have it installed. It's been a pleasure doing this video for you and I hope to bring more to you about uh, different command line applications in the future similar to this one. Anyway guys, signing off. Have a good day YouTube. Bye.